All right, y'all, it's finally October. Y'all know why y'all click this. Y'all want to know the one thing I sold this year. So y'all going to have to go to another video because I sold a lot of stuff. Here we go. I'm going to start y'all off with something light. In the beginning of the year, this fly on my way. Yeah, we're going to keep that in there. We ain't editing this. I sold four candy machines. If y'all ever been in any convenience store, y'all seen a uh, four-headed candy machine, gumball machine. I sold four of those this year. This one I knew, the one moment I knew that I could sell anything. I sold four candy machines. I never even knew I could buy them, and I ended up selling them. So that was the first thing I sold this year, 2019. Second thing I sold was a gumball machine. You know, like when you're a kid, you drop a quarter in there, you twist it, watch the gumball. So that for $140, I bought it for, I bought all those together for $40. So that was a that was a good one. I sold a Nest thermostat. Most of us don't even know what that is. Well, if you ever change the air in your house, that's a digital version of that. My brother, he didn't want it. He said it was free. He gave it to me. I put it online. I sold it the next week. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing, I do moving to Harlem. So if I go in somebody's house and they say that they don't want something, I go in there, I take a picture of it. Put it up online. Offer up, let go, Facebook Marketplace. Y'all can use these as tips too, for real. This this ain't no hidden knowledge. Uh, I take pictures of it and I put it all over line. And usually by the time I'm done doing the moving job, somebody wants it. We take it, we move it from where we at, and take it to the buyer. So uh, I sold three flat screens that way. People didn't want their flat screen TVs for some reason. Easy sell. Two couches. I sold that that way. People didn't want their couches. We already had to move it out. Take it from one place and take it to the next place. That's how you cash in. Two car jacks. Okay. So when you clean out garages and stuff in, in my line of business, we clear out garages and um, basements and stuff like that. You find a lot of tools, car jacks and wrenches and stuff like that. And we just collect them. We collect them and sit them to the side. And once again, I like doing it. I think I'm gonna start doing it. We gonna uh, <laughs> we we put them online and they sell for nearly the same prices uh, what a new one sells for for real. So yeah, another one is oh scrap metal. So for those of you who don't know, if you have a pickup truck and know somebody with a pickup truck, now I wouldn't suggest this right now. Scrap metal is at like an all time low. It's like two cents for steel right now. So I wouldn't suggest it now. But the hidden tip is, and this might sound like a capitalist thing to say, but it is a capitalist thing to say. <clears throat> if it's a war, metal will be worth more money. So when you go to scrap metal, they give you more money for it. Because they take that scrap metal, they use that to buy guns. To Excuse me, to make guns. Alright. Another thing, a Fortnite skin. I done had no idea what this was. My little brother gave it to, uh, called me and was like, you get free skins on your phone. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, you get free skins on your phone. And it comes free on your phone. So I was sitting there like, I don't know what that is. But if you say you can make some money off of it, go ahead. I gave it to him and he sold these skins or whatever they call for $50 a piece. I cried. I cried. I was like, my son, I said my son, my little brother, a hustler. He remind me of me sometimes, only sometimes though. But anyway, uh, another thing I saw, I saw the 1998 Honda Civic. It was gold. I went out to auctions, my first time at the auction. Uh, it was actually my second time, my first time purchasing something at the auction. I was by myself. I ended up getting this car for $300. $300 for a car. Don't even sound right. I ended up bringing it back to the town in Baltimore and selling it for what I sold it for. $925. That's three times, three times what I spent on it. I also sold one Isuzu. I can't even pronounce that word. I hate saying that word for it, but I had one. It's a pickup truck, a Hombre. 
Isuzu, 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 I don't know. Comment below if y'all know how to pronounce it. I know how to spell it, but yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I sold one 2008 Ford Taurus. I talked to the person that's still running perfectly and working perfectly. Uh, one 2002 Mercury Sable. That was a pretty hard sale. It took me about uh, almost two weeks to sell that. I guess a lot of people aren't in a Mercury Sables. I sold uh, one 1996 Honda Accord. That still worked like a champ. I know the guy who bought that from me. I sold one Chevy Equinox. And I also sold one 2002 Jaguar. Now, the, the thing about this video is, these are just the things that I remembered. I want to go back and do a part two and see if I, you know, uh, find something that I didn't remember. Oh, yeah. I sold cookies. We sell cookies. That's what the great cookie. I sell these. I'm lying. I didn't sell them. But still, I can put it in my hand. I'm going to sell it. That's all I'm saying. So y'all got something y'all want to sell or something. Um, hit me up at Lugative Seti on uh, Instagram. Lugative Seti on YouTube. My name is my name on Facebook. I ain't even trying to put my whole real name out there. But, yeah, you can hit me up on any of those platforms and let me know what y'all sold or, you know, ask me how I sold these things. And I'm, I'm willing to give all the free information as possible. Thank y'all. Subscribe and like below.